So after using the patterns app option and cross hatch, cross hatch area option, the next option over here is pattern area. We are using pattern area. Select a pattern cell. That is, we will be creating a matrix consisting of rows and columns wherein each element of the matrix is a cell. The cell repeats uh, like we had seen it in the case of the array option. The array option which we used over here, we created a rectangular or polar array. Over here using the uh, pattern area option will be generating a number of cells which are repeated in the same way as a rectangular array is created. I'll show it with an example. I'll just close all of these. Now, so what we'll do is we'll stop this patterns toolbar over here. We'll resume it later on. First, let us look at the function and the use of cells. What basically are cells in MicroStation? In AutoCAD software, these cells are referred to as blocks or alternatively I can say that blocks which are present in AutoCAD are termed as cells in MicroStation. Basically, uh, suppose you if you have a particular mechanical or civil whatever drawing it is, sometimes what happens is you need to use a particular object. For example, if it's a civil drawing, you need to use a particular door a number of times throughout the entire drawing so what we can do is instead of copying it and pasting it uh, a number of times I can convert that door the entire drawing of the door into one cell in microstation and that cell I can place it a number of times throughout my drawing in this way I can create a number of cells I can create one cell for a door, I can create one cell for a window, I can create in this way a number of cells say for chairs etc whatever whatever is the item you can create a cell for it and you can browse through the cell library and you can get your cell as and when required and place it wherever you want. When you use copy command you'll be just copying it from one place and pasting it over to the other whereas using cells you can have a library of different cells which you can paste anywhere you like right so that is the basic purpose or function of a cell if it's a mechanical drawing maybe the bolts or nuts or whatever it is uh, washers etc you can use them a number of times and each cell will be placed in the cell library okay so I'm just deleting all of this right now in order to create cell this is the cell toolbar first let us create some say nut over here I'm choosing this option inscribed polygon edges 6 and I'll start over here and in this way I'm creating this polygon um, let the size be 10 okay so this is the polygon let me draw one line over here okay so this is the nut which I created and in order to use this nut or in order to convert this nut into a cell uh, please uh, pay attention to the procedure the first thing is after creating the drawing which you want to convert into the cell you need to first and foremost place the origin of this cell in the cells toolbar the fourth option over here is define cell origin I'll select this and now I'm going to place the cell origin. The cell origin will be acting like your base point. And now I'm placing it over here in the center. You can place it anywhere. For convenience, I'm placing it in the center. After placing this, I'll go with my right click. That is to come out of the command. Right. So now we have placed it over there in the center. After which, I'll next go with the second step now is to highlight the entire drawing in this way after selecting it after highlighting it next you will go to element and click on the cells option so the first step was define cell origin the second step was selecting the drawing the third step is click on element and cells after which 
over here you have entered into the cell library dialog box wherein you can create a cell etc you can do a number of things over here so right now you can see read it over here cell library is set to none and that is the reason the create option is disabled I'll go with the file and new option that is I'm creating a new cell library I'm not going to create a new cell right now I'm going to create a new cell library wherein I can choose or I can create a number of cells in that library so I'll select the new option and over here generally in microstation this is the path wherein all the cell libraries are stored program files Bentley workspaces projects examples general cell a similar path similar not same a similar path was seen when we were seeing the seed files whenever we were supposed to select a seed file the path was almost similar to this okay so I'm selecting the cell library that is I'm creating a new cell library I'm naming it as mechanical since these nuts and bolts are used in the mechanical field I'll place it over here and I'll go with OK now when I click on OK now the create option enables gets enabled so in order to have this option the first thing is define cell origin the second thing is select the entire drawing the third thing is you need to have a cell library over here now the cell library is only for the first time after having created the cell library next you can create a number of cells without having to change your cell library alright so now go with the create option and I'm going to name the cell this time earlier we had named the cell library this time I'm naming it as NUT alright you can enter some description over here uh, usually they enter the dimensions over here so whatever description you can give you can give over here and go with the create option once you click on create the cell preview is displayed over here and the cell gets added to the cell library in this way this is the name nut this is the description okay that is how you will be creating your cell now I'll close this right and this particular cell origin which you have placed over here this cell origin cannot be deleted by pressing down your control button if I try to delete it the circle would go the polygon would go but if I try to select it it's not going to get selected it's not going to get deleted unless I again click on define cell origin option click on this and it vanishes from this display area now instead of placing it you can go with right click in this way you will be removing it from the drawing okay so now in order to create or in order to place that cell you will choose the first option place active cell select place active cell and right now the active cell is field is blank so I'll select this magnifying glass browse cells this is the cell library mechanical the nut option and in order to use this you need to click on placement that is you want to place this cell so click on placement and the nut option is displayed over here you can click on this you can just close this after that you can see this is the active cell I can place it over here I can place it in this way over here 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 a number of times I can paste it select this and this time I'll go with an active angle that is the default cell which you have that can be placed by being rotated at an angle say I'll go with 30 degrees and now if you look this is how the cell appears and the cross mark in the center of the circle which you see is nothing but the insertion point which we decided by choosing a correct defined cell origin option okay so I'm placing it over here in this way this is the 30 degrees uh, in the rotated cell in this way you can rotate it to any angle say 60 degrees in this way it is going to rotate that is it has rotated by a total of 60 degrees in this way so like this go with 0 enter and now it has come back to its previous position All right. now what we are going to do is instead of placing it as it is you can see this is how the cell appears I can scale it the same way you can lock it increase it three times horizontally as well as vertically and place it 
that is how you will be placing your cell throughout the drawing that is nothing but place active cell option i'll stop the session over here and let us look at the other options in the next session